Next, we'll introduce the functions of the technical setting here. The start point. When we are not satisfied with the lead position, we can change it by the start point function. And we can lengthen or shorten the lead lines and just angles from any point outside under stop point function. As for the fab laser cutting, there will be cutting curves. If we don't compensate the curves, there will be size errors between the graphic and the physical cutting. Let's imagine we are going to cut a circle which is 20 millimeters in outer and 15 millimeters inner diameter. If we don't apply the compensation, the physical size will be different from the graphic size. Due to the curve, the physical size of outer diameter will be smaller than 20 millimeters, and the inner is more than 15 millimeters. Here, let's suppose the curve is 0.1 millimeters. After the compensation, we can see the outer is expanded and the inner is shrinked. Then, if we process the cutting now, we can make sure the physical size is accurate. Let's import a graphic. It has made co-edge in CAD. Probably the software cannot tell the difference between the inner and outer contours. Here we need to set the inner or outer cutting manually. Let's see the graphic. Identify inner outer contour in the eyelid line. The circle is taken as an outer, which is an inner actually, so the lead position is not proper. So here we need adjust it manually by the inner outer functions here. We can see the lead position is fine now. We can apply the batch modify function here to set similar graphics. When we are going to cut a long rectangle like this, if we cut directly, normally the cut will exhibit a caulking at one side and then influence the travel path of the cutting head. So we can add the macro joints on both lines to avoid such conditions. At the macro joint, we can see there will be a tiny part that the laser beam is closed. We can add the macro joints automatically or manually. Plus the shift key, we can delete the macro joint by clicking it. Sometimes we need to change the processing direction to search a better result. Let's see the function here. When we are trying to cut these long rectangles in quantity, imagine that the cutting order is from bottom to top. The start point is here, which shows that each rectangle will be cut clockwisely. After the first rectangle is finished, when the cutting of second rectangle goes to this long line, the cutting head probably will be shaking due to this long line has cut off without enough support for this workpiece. Here, let's try to make the cutting direction reversed, which is processing counterclockwisely. We can see when the cutting goes to the second, there will be more spores when cutting this line. So it turns out this cutting direction is more reasonable. We can also set the cutting direction here all clockwise or counterclockwise. 
if we wanna leave a gap at the end of the processing path, we can find it here at the seal drop down menu. We can set the gap size here. If we wanna fill in the gap to seal, it will be done. We can set over, which means the cutting will continue a distance after it finishes the whole processing, like we set it to 5 mm. When the cut comes to the end, it will continue 5 mm more from the beginning. Multi cut is mainly used for engraving. Let's set it to 5. It will repeat the marking 5 times and get an engraving effect. For some bending parts, we can generate relief corners and set a radius. It will help the following bending process. The fillet here, we can set it one by one separately, which is different from the one at left corner. The cooling point, when we click it, we can add a cooling point at any position of the graphic. When the cutting goes to the cooling point, the laser beam will close and gas blows for a period. We can also set auto cooling point at the leading point or corners or both. The max angle here is a filter. When we put like 90, it will add cooling points to all corners which are less than 90. If the corner is more than 90, there will be no cooling point. Please note it, the cooling point at the leading will become a part of the lead line, which will be cleared, deleted, or changed as the lead line does. So when we are trying to clear all cooling points here, we can see others are gone, but the one at leading cannot be cleared automatically. We need to delete it manually. Plus the shift key, we can delete the cooling point by clicking it. The cooling point is often used in corner cutting to avoid overburning or when we are trying to cut some thicker metals when the machine power is not quite qualified, like 3000 watt for 21 mm carbon steel. When we need to cut some sharp angles like the star, we can apply the ring cut to create extra path. We can see here the cutting path is different from the original one, which will ensure the cutting results of sharp corners. Last, let's talk about the reference, which means relative to the graphic, the reference position of part 0, let's simply call it as O. We can set here to bottom left. It shows that the graphic will be at top right to the O. When we are applying the floating coordinate, position of the cutting head will be the O. So here, if we are going to cut the rectangle, the path will go top right. When we set the O at bottom right, we can see the rectangle is at top left relative to the O. Now the cutting path will run top left. When there are multiple layers, let's make the rectangle as background layer. We can see the green circle and white rectangle are in different layers now. There is an option to exclude unprecised layer here. When we tick it, the O will be based on the circle. If not, it will count the whole graphics shown here. We can see the difference. We can also manually specify the O. Like we click here, the O will be here. But the most common usage is the O reference is more practical cooperating with the floating coordinate. 
Do you have issues on your laser machines? Please put it in the comment below or contact us directly. Subscribe me here so that you get notice as soon as I upload a video for you. Thank you. Bye.